In this video, I want to show you how to use your focus config file to your advantage. Easily setting up your own default settings, custom resolutions, model file paths, and presets. If you are always changing the same settings when you open focus, or maybe you want a separate preset to easily use SDXL Turbo without having to switch things over, then this is for you. And with that, let's get started. Let's go into the focus folder. Here you can scroll down and find these two files. Open up your config file and it should look like this if you have never changed it. If you already have models installed to another stable diffusion software like Automatic 11.11 or Comfy UI, you can change these file paths to point to those folders so you don't have to have multiple of the same model on your computer. In my case, I have all my folder locations pointing at my Automatic 11.11 installation. Now this is the basics of what this config file is for, but if we open the other folder labeled config modification tutorial, here you can see a template that you can copy to your other file and use to change several default settings. As you can see at the top here, this file is not meant to be altered and is only an example. So to get this in our main file, select all from this top bracket to the bottom bracket and copy. Go back to your config file and select all and paste and save. Now this will be our default settings whenever we start the basic run bat. If you need to change your file locations, remember to add these double backslashes. If even one of these is missing two slashes or there are any mistakes in this file, it will show an error in the command window and load up the default settings. So if you are having trouble getting these settings to show in focus, there most likely is an error. Looking just below the paths, we see our default model, which is Juggernaut version 8. You will also notice a list underneath it of previous versions. These are mainly there for those who don't want to use version 8 or 7. With this list, it will default to one of these if the previous version isn't there. This way, it won't download the newer versions if you don't want to use them. This also means if you have an older version and want version 8, you will need to download it yourself and put it in the model folder. Below here is where we can set a default refiner and switch setting. If you always use a refiner like Realistic Vision, you can just copy and paste the exact file name here and it will load up every time you start focus. And the LoRa section, if you always remove the offset, you can easily delete it here, and in between the two parentheses put none, or add a new LoRa name, and then put your default weight. Here's our guidance scale, sharpness, sampler, and scheduler. You can change them, however, most SDXL 1.0 models recommend these settings. We also have our default styles. If you like to start clean, you can easily remove all of these and leave it blank, or even add and switch to others you prefer. Then there is our default negative prompt. If you like to add something by default, maybe NSFW if you're worried about any unwanted images, or even perhaps some negative embeds you always use. Here we can increase the max image number if you want to create more than 32 images at a time. This is our checkpoint default downloads. This is what we'll download if none of the versions listed in the beginning are found. And right under that is the LoRa download. Both of these can be removed if you prefer, and nothing will be downloaded. Then we have our resolutions. Here we can easily add or replace any we want. Just copy and paste the last resolution and change to whatever you like. Add a comma to the resolution before it and make sure the last resolution in the list does not have a comma. Any missing or extra commas in this will give an error and not load your changes, so be sure to check that. You can set the default resolution you want here. Below, we have some of the settings in the debug menu. These will be useful in our turbo preset, which we will go over next. The last bit here is the in paint prompt quick select list. If there are phrases you use often, here you can easily add them. Same as before, you can copy a line and paste it and then change to what you want. Just make sure every line has as a comma at the end until the last line. Now, with all that done, we can save our changes and restart focus. If you load focus and don't see your changes or things are missing, then you can check the command window and see if there is this error. We see this says there was an error at line 99. So let's open the config file again, then click edit, go to, then type in 99. It takes us to the bottom. And here I can see that the last line has a comma. This is the error. Remember that the last line in a group shouldn't have a comma? Remove that and save. Restart focus, and now we should see that our changes are working this time. Now I will show you how to make an easy preset for SDXL Turbo, or any preset you'd like. 
Basically, we will be adding an additional run bat that we can use to start focus with our SDXL settings ready to go. To find our presets, simply go into your focus folder, then presets, and we can see all our files. These are mini config files that will load when we attach it to a new run bat that we make. Any settings in these presets will take effect over our default config file. It's easier than it sounds, believe me. First, let's make a copy of one of the presets. And I will rename this one Turbo. Then right-click the new file and edit with Notepad. For this, I am going to create an SDXL Turbo shortcut that will use the Dream Shaper XL Turbo model. I will include the link if you want to download it yourself. Just put it with your other checkpoints. I will go to my checkpoints folder and copy the exact name of the model then back to the Turbo preset file, and replace the model name with the new one. Now go down to the CFG scale. This is your guidance slider. We want to bring this down to around 1.5 to 2. The higher the number, the more baked the image will look. This is personal preference. I will put mine at 1.5, and bring the sharpness up to 3. Then we need to change the sampler. This will be dpmpp underscore sde. Then make sure the default text prompt is empty. You can add something here if you want, but I prefer it blank. Then I will change the default resolution to 1024 by 1024. This isn't necessary, but many of the turbo models recommend this resolution for best results. And then I will clear the checkpoint download link. Lastly, we need to add in a line for our steps. The easiest way is to copy from our config modification tutorial file. In there, we need to go down to this line here, copy that, then go back to our new turbo file. And we are going to add it right under the default aspect ratio line. And then change the minus one to a six. That should be it. Now let's save this and close it. And go back to the focus file where our run bats are located. Here I am going to make a copy of the anime run bat and rename it run underscore turbo. Then right click and edit with notepad. And where we see anime, we are going to change that to turbo. And then save. Now we can start up the new run bat. And if everything was input correctly, we should see our Dream Shaper model selected. Now there is no default LoRa. In the advanced, we see guidance is set to 1.5 and sharpness at 3. And in the debug, we can see that new sampler is selected. And the forced overwrite of sampling steps is at 6. Everything we input is correct, and we can start using our turbo model. A final note, just in case you didn't know, Stability AI does have a non-commercial license for the SDXL turbo models. So, unless you have a membership with them, images created from turbo models are for personal or research use only. I think that uh, about covers it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you in the next one.